Today, I want to talk about stories. Storytelling skills are essential for everyone because we consume and tell numerous stories every day. Our civilization is built upon stories. We need to know how to write a good story, at least for personal branding. Also, it would be valuable to know what makes a good story, so you can judge if the story is worth consuming or believing in the future. To provide you with the most important information, I have done my research from a bunch of books written by famous screenwriters. I'll put the details in the description box below, so you can check later. Without further ado, let's get started. Before you start a story, you need to decide the essential values you want to convey to the audience. You need to shape your story around a perception like what's worth living for, what's worth dying for, what's foolish to pursue, etc. For example, in Breaking Bad, the major reason that drives Walter White to illegal mass production is that he believes a man provides for his family. Although he admits another underlying motivation at the end of the drama, we can still understand that the theme of the show is the devotion to family, both from Walter's story and other characters' storylines. So before you start writing, you must make sure that you have the proper values and themes in mind. After confirming the value, we start build our protagonist. He or she must have four important features. First of all, the protagonist must have a strong willpower to cause meaningful and irreversible change. An audience has no patience towards a weak protagonist because we are already stuck in our real life and we want to see someone who can transcend us in a virtual world. Secondly, the protagonist must have a clear conscious desire, also called object of desire. It is closely related to the value of the story, and the protagonist is pursuing it all the time. On the other hand, the protagonist must have an unconscious desire, like a real person. He may not realize it at the beginning, but it is the most powerful motivation lying behind. Lastly, the protagonist must be empathetic. He does not have to be likable, but he has to be empathetic enough for us to project ourselves on him or her. There is a lot more I want to talk about the protagonist or character, but I will leave it to another video. Now let's talk about the structure of the story. I came up with this structure by summarizing the ideas from different books. So it's nothing authoritative, but I believe it is helpful enough for us to get started. In the beginning, the protagonist's life is out of balance. He or she is striving to restore the balance by achieving the object of desire. You can throw out the hook here to engage the audience. Caught adventure means something unexpected happened to drag the protagonist onto the adventure, either physically or spiritually. You can introduce the antagonist here to obstruct the protagonist's journey. The protagonist is usually at a loss at first, so he will meet a guide to offer him the map. The guide is usually an attractive person in Hollywood style, as this acts more intrigue to the story. The protagonist and the guide will work together to overcome the challenges on the road, but they are just making things worse. The escalation of conflicts will lead us to a meaningful climax later. The epiphany is an extremely important stage that the protagonist has the enlightenment that resolves his inner conflicts or untangles the mystery. It can happen before or during the climax. The decisions made along the road ultimately lead to the outbreak of the conflicts in climax. By having the epiphany, the protagonist will be able to resolve the outside conflicts with the opposing force. Finally, the protagonist restores the balance of his life and the story comes to the end where the audience cannot imagine another version of ending. It is the same for a writer to use coincidence as the ending because it needs to be faded and meaningful. I'll use my favorite quote to end this chapter. Story is a metaphor for life. A true master writer selects only a few moments but gives us a whole life. This is for today's video. I'll talk about characters in the next video and I will see you there. Thanks for watching.